Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 6, Descriptive Spatial Statistics, Part 1. Spatial statistics comprises of a set of techniques for describing and modeling spatial data. They're particularly useful because they, st they extend what the mind and eyes do intuitively to assess spatial patterns, distributions, trends, processes, and relationships. Spatial statistical techniques actually use the space uh, metrics of space, area, length, proximity, orientation, or spatial relationships directly in their mathematics. Spatial data are, per are data pertaining to the location and spatial dimensions of geographical entities. These geographic entities may be represented by points, such as locations, locations of crimes, locations of households, locations of sensors, or locations of, of uh, disease cases. Geographic entities could be represented by lines. You would use lines to represent routes traveled, connections between locations, the amount of flow of goods or interactions between locations, or forces, like in the sense of phys uh, physical forces. We're also quite used to seeing geographic entities being represented with areas. So these include things like census tracts, planning areas, parcel data, or electoral wards. Finally, we also see geographic entities being represented in grids. This is the well-known raster data format used in GIS. So examples of this include satellite imagery or aerial photography. In geography, and spatial statistics in particular, we specialize in using spatial information in our statistical analyses. Why do we want to do this? I'm going to introduce the notion of processes and patterns. Processes can be environmental, social, or economic, and processes act in space to produce spatial patterns. And spatial statistics, or more broadly spatial analysis, is aimed at identifying and describing a spatial pattern in the hope that the pattern that we find can lead to a better understanding of the underlying spatial process. We're going to separate spatial analysis into the investigation of first and second order effects. First order effects are those pertaining to the distribution of data and their measured values over space. So here we are identifying spatial patterns. Where is a variable high? Where is it low? Where do we see a lot of occurrences of points? Where do we see fewer occurrences of points? These are first order effects talking about the absolute location of high and low values of data or more or fewer observations over space. The second order effects are those pertaining to location of data and their measured values in relation to other locations or other measured values in space. So we saw this a few lectures ago when we were talking about locations of waterfalls and how far away they are from the nearest highway. Well that would be an example of a second order effect because we're looking at the relationship between two entities in space. It's not the absolute locations of the waterfalls that mattered. Instead it was the relative location of the waterfall uh, of the water the relative location of the waterfall to the highway. The first thing that we need to briefly define before we move on to, to looking at examples of spatial descriptive statistics is the point distribution. Assume that we have a data set consisting of n points. Each point, i, where i goes from 1 to n, has two properties. The first property is its location, which is stored as, an x, as a coordinate pair. So xi is the x-coordinate of the location, and yi is the y-coordinate of the location. The, the second property that a point may have is an optional weight. And here, the weight is some sort of measured value that we have at the location xy. So in this small data set of three points, we see that point 1, point 1 has an x value of 5. So we are go across 5, and it has a y value of 10. So we go up to 10, and we have a point at that nexus. 
its weight is 200. So when we observed something at that location, we counted or measured some sort of attribute of that location to be 200. For example, this might be the uh, location of uh, uh, a case of, of cholera, and 200 is some sort of score that we gave to the severity of the cholera case at that location.